Hey, what's up you guys? Time is back with another Linton's video. Today we have a fragrance from Paris Corner, the Amir lineup. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys. Again, it is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices. Whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV. Whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you're watching me right now while you're doing some dishes. Maybe you're watching me while working out. Who knows? Wherever and however you're watching me, it is an honor. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very, very important. Just a little something funny uh, before we get into this fragrance. It's watching Friday today, okay? Friday on the cell phone. And one thing always baffled me about that movie. You mean to tell me Day Day didn't know how much milk was left in that carton when he pulled it out of the refrigerator? There was like a tablespoon of milk in that carton. He took it out of the dang refrigerator. He should have known just by the weight there was not enough milk in there to fill up that bowl of, uh, I think they were called crunchies, if you will. So just a little funny little uh, blooper, if you will. He should have known how much milk he had, but Pops told him to put some water on it. Anyways, let's get into this fragrance. Amir, the factory edition lineup. This is, again, Paris Corner. Paris Corner has this uh, lineup of Amir fragrances. A lot of them, actually. They got Amir, um, the Fire Your Desire. We got uh, uh, Your Drugged. We got uh, Frenetic. We have stuff like that. This one is the factory edition, and this one is Ultra Citrus. Now, what this is cloning, I have no idea. Because, you know, I, I'm assuming it's a Labo fragrance. It could be something else. I was thinking about uh, Bergamot, but I think they have a clone of that already. So what this Ultra Citrus is, I don't know. Maybe it's a... Uh, I don't know. What What is it, you guys? Just let me know. All I'm here to do is tell you what I think of it. Let you know if it's a worthy pickup or not. Now, this one, I believe, was like $35. $35 or $40 on a FragranceBuy.ca. You know, FragranceBuy.ca has been getting plenty of these uh, lesser-known Middle Easterns as of late. I just actually bought a few fragrances today. So hopefully, the wife doesn't hear about that just bought like five again you always need five so you can get that uh free shipping whenever you guys are on that uh you know website always make sure that if you have like that fourth fragrance and you, you just don't know what to get just get something it doesn't even matter get a get get some q-tips from there and you should be straight you should get that uh, free shipping and one more thing, always buy on Sunday because they ship out Monday, okay? So hopefully they are seeing my order today, which is Sunday, and hopefully they will ship that out tomorrow, and I'll get it sometime by next week, unless FedEx decides to screw up, because we all know FedEx is trash. But anyways, comes in like this cool little box, just a simple little box. Sometimes these boxes are just good enough, though. They look kind of elegant. You get the note breakdown right here, which is pretty cool, which I like. It tells you what kind of family this is. So it's a aromatic citrus fragrance. Got top notes of bergamot. We got lemon. And um, in the heart, we got some citron. We got some pedigree. We got some neroli, lavender, and sage. And at the base, we got some vetiver, ambergris, and some tonka beans. So it sounds like it's going to be a nice citrusy kind of fresh fresh spice especially with that little bit of that neroli a little bit of that uh sage lavender maybe giving it some kind of uh maturity in this fragrance but there you go typical fragrance looks like a lilabo fragrance okay nice and heavy glasses thick cap is very nice and heavy so everything about this presentation wise looks great i got two others up there as well from the same lineup the amir edition the factory edition series i'll do a video on the other one uh, a little bit later but um did open up one forgot to do a dang review on it just wanted to smell it but anyways here it is amir ultra citrus here we go 
Got that nice Paris corner at the top right there. Let's see what this is all about. Kind of digging some of these citrus fragrances lately, especially that blue Tarathi. Oh man, so good. I mean, in the air, in the air, this just smells like straight a citrus, literally, like like a mashup of lemon heads that, that kind of sweet, that l super lemony, like, it's almost like lemon pledge, if you will. It smells like lemon pledge in the air, okay? Let's get closer, see if, now it is kind of getting a little fresh when I'm doing this, okay? There's a little bit of freshness to it. Man, this is uh, literally like smelling lemon pledge, if you will. Now, not in the sake that it's it smells like kind of real chemically, if you will, if that's a word. But it just smells super, super duper lemony, like a fresh, fresh lemon, okay? No doubt about it. This is lemon. This is citrus at its finest. It does kind of have that sweetness again. Now, this is not like when you think of like these lemony and these like kind of maybe adding a little sweet to it. You think of something like Dior Own Sport or Cologne, I think that one. The one that smells kind of like a lemonade. Now, this would just smell pretty much just like that straight raw lemon. No sugar, no sweetener in this one, okay? Just straight lemon. Smells a little floral in the background. Kind of got a little bit of this green earthiness to it as well. The earthiness has not come in just yet. Again, it's just really, it's pretty much all citrus right now. It's all it is. It's just like straight lemon. If I mean, this may be, you know, maybe when you need that fragrance that needs that, like that brightness. Maybe there's a fragrance that you have in your lineup that just needs a little bit of pop just to kind of get it going a little bit. This could be more of a... Now we'll see where it goes soon, but this could be like kind of like a fragrance that you use to layer something. Maybe like give yourself two little spritz on the neck and then go, you know, with something else on the neck. You know, go with something that needs a little bit of a citrus boost because this is, again, there's a slight little bit of greenness in the background, like a little floral green. Again, it's 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 got the slightest. There's a slight bit of sweet creeping through right now. It's not overly sweet, okay? Again, this is not like smelling a lemon a lemonade, okay? A lemonade like Dior Homme Sport or whatever, a cologne, I think it is. It's not like that, okay? This is literally just straight up citrus, slightly green, just a slight bit of sweetness, not too much, not enough to make you say, oh my God, yes, that smells like a lemonade. Not like that, okay? But it does just smell like a, like if you just, if you guys ever had lemon heads, okay? You guys, almost the same way like it tastes is like kind of how it smells, if that makes a sense. Like if, if something had a taste or a smell, like if you smell lemon heads, this is kind of what it reminds me of. Lemon heads, lemon pledge, just something with lemon wipes, the ones that you get at the store and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what this fragrance is. Now, for that reason alone, this opening may be a little bit too much for a lot of people. And honestly, I feel like it's a little bit too much for me. It's just too much citrus going on. I mean, I mean, it, it, you could probably spray that on a piece of salmon and you'd probably be good enough to eat. I don't know, but that lemon, it's just, it, it's a, a very beautiful lemon smell, but it's just too much. There needs to be something else at the top. Um, maybe something, or even if it was in the middle notes, some, one of those middle notes has to creep in a little bit sooner because, again, there's a little bit of earthiness, but there's not too much right now. A little bit of green. It's still that sharp, sharp citrus. It's just a sharp, citrusy, fresh fragrance slightly green slightly sweet not too much but you know you, you see a fragrance like that especially with that note note breakdown ultra zest 
This is gonna be a great fragrance for the spring or the summertime during the day of running some errands, going to the gym, going to class, going to school, going to work, I don't know. But this is not a date night fragrance. This is not a, you know, a beast of a, uh, like fall or spring like that. Okay, summer, spring, Yes, if you're going into work during the fall and you're going to be inside of a nice kind of a cool environment, you can wear it there as well. Wear it on a plane. You're not going to offend anybody. The lemon should tone down a little bit. Like if you were to spray this on and go on an airplane, by the time you get on the airplane, it should be toned down a little bit. But you're going to be smelling fresh. You're going to be smelling lime, lemony. You're going to be smelling kind of green. You're going to be smelling kind of earthy, slightly sweet. And that's what you're going to get with this one. Now, I'm going to check to see if the wifey likes this. She might like it just because she does like lemon. You know, she lo loves her lemon water. I love lemon water. We all love lemon. We love lemon pledge. We love all that. You definitely love lemon pledge if you were a fan of Michael Jackson because that was the only way we could do the moonwalk with that lemon pledge on the floor. You get them socks on and you get the room. But anyways, babe, come. Going to get her reaction to this one. Again, on the skin literally straight lemon pledge lemon head if you will but i'm gonna spray it in the air see if there's anything different that she detects in the air mm -hmm. um it does smell like like mist tires or something clean fluids or essential oil mm. yeah there's not too much going on with this fragrance besides just smelling super lemony i literally smell the hand as well it smells like candy like women heads kind of written. Yes. It smells like when you kind of chew up those lemon heads and they start getting chewy. You got a little bit of that sweetness, but it's still sour. That's kind of what this reminds me of. It's kind of sour. It's slightly sweet, little bit green, little bit earthy. But that is that. Now, again, do I recommend this one? Yes, but only as a layering component. I, I couldn't see myself just wearing just this. I'd have to layer this with something else. Maybe bring another kind of citrus involved with this one. Maybe layer this with the tiger. Maybe layer this with a forever with a little bit of that grapefruit. Give you a little bit more of that tart uh, kind of bitterness, maybe. Maybe that would help. But again, on its own, I don't think I would wear this on its own. But with layering, yes, I would try it. Okay, so. Should be putting it in a diffuser. So with that being said, the wife says we should put it in the diffuser. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe add some nice little. I bet you this would be nice with um, the. Uh, Louis Vuitton clone, the Immortal. I bet you that'd be nice with that little bit of spicy ginger. I bet you that would be nice with this. I bet you that would be really nice with that. But again, this one more of a layering fragrance in my opinion. So with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you guys learned what Lemon Heads Lemon Pledge smells like because I just learned again what it smells like. And it smells just like that. This ultra citrus Again, the Amir Factory Edition lineup. Go check it out. If you enjoyed that video, and I hope you did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.